Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine and welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I'm Mark, a former dive instructor, doing my best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any scuba diving questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and use this Ask Mark hashtag in your comment to get it highlighted so I know to respond to it. Uh, I do like to type out an answer as soon as I see them. And the community as well does an awesome job if they do see any unanswered questions, uh, starting a little discussion in the comment section so well done everybody. Uh, today I'm answering a question from Kyle Fleming about in-water recompression. So Kyle says, thanks for the earlier reply, you are welcome. On a more serious question, I've been out of diving for a good few years, but back then I I was told that if you had an uncontrolled ascent, grab a full cylinder and head straight back down to avoid getting the bends. Uh, would this work? This always struck me as a bit wild west and as a last chance Hail Mary move reserved for remote diving. Uh, personally, it left me thinking to never ever get myself in a situation where this was ever considered an option. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, yeah, in water recompression. Uh, is the official term and it does exist and it is used all over the world by various divers still but it can be very dangerous for, uh, for obvious reasons and the results aren't particularly well documented I don't believe uh, again for obvious reasons um, but there is interest and several treatment tables for uh, in water treatment but if you don't have the people or the equipment it's really not a good idea. It, you'll have better odds just getting to the nearest uh, recompression chamber. Um, it's not recommended for mild DCS symptoms uh, or if you're within two hours of a recompression chamber, which most dive sites are. But as you say, remote dive sites can be a good two hours from a recompression chamber. Um, it's also not recommended if the diver has severe vertigo uh, worsening symptoms, uh, lapses in consciousness, uh, or physical incapabilities, because like the water is a dangerous place um, if you're not like at your best. So um, no, it, it's only if and and they have run trials on this. Uh, the, uh, as I say, that there are various um, treatment tables out there for in water recompression, but that there's just so many variables and it is quite dangerous um, to, to put someone back in the water. You have certain restrictions as well. Um, you can't communicate as effectively. You can't administer a lot of medications. Uh, so it is just, as a Hail Mary, yeah, definitely. If you're somewhere really remote, but if someone like loses consciousness underwater, the, the second stage comes out, uh, it, it's just, oh, it's truth, it's so dangerous. And if, if you don't have, um, in an ideal world, you have like a full on trapeze uh, so that you can maintain your depth, you can have other divers around because someone's gonna be monitoring you and it ideally takes more than one person. You all have to be trained on like timings and everything, timings and depths and when to ascend and descend. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a fascinating topic. And there are uh, videos from far more experienced um, like diver medicals uh, sort of out there that I definitely recommend. Uh, I'll try to put some links to, uh, to some of them down in the uh, description below. Um, it is a fascinating topic and there is logic behind it and a lot of places do do it. However, to do it properly, there's, there's so many variables and you've got to get them all right. Um, if you are just like mild decompression sickness uh, or if you're yeah, within two hours, it's your best bet is just to get your butt to the nearest uh, recompression chamber. It's, um, it's far more controlled and the, the chambers nowadays, the, yeah, it's just a far better option than jumping back in the water. Um, yeah, there's so many additional variables that is just as a Hail Mary, sure, but it's it's quite, you know, it can be quite dangerous. Yeah, I mean, depending on the, um, uh, the situation, some treatments can last like hours as well and hours underwater, unless you have appropriate exposure protection, you're going to get 
<laughs> you're gonna get cold um and yeah you're underwater and if you've got worsening symptoms and uh, or, or vertigo as well uh, yeah it's true you're just gonna have a bad time um so yeah your best bet Call emergency services, uh, call Dan as well, and uh, and they'll be able to talk you through it. And yeah, get them to uh, well, get them on oxygen if you have oxygen. Uh, monitor their symptoms. I did a, a video about um, like the, the checks and the tests that you should really do um, if you do suspect decompression sickness, um, and take take notes of everything along with times so that you can see if the symptoms are getting better or getting worse and uh, over time and that way the um, the recompression chamber can look through all of that and go well done sir uh, or madam and um, and the recompression chamber can look through that and go oh okay these are the their signs and symptoms if they got rashes as well try and take a picture because rashes can disappear but it's quite important for them to be able to see and if you just go mm, he had kind of a blotchy rash kind of around here whereas if you can show them a photograph they go okay noted um along with times and all that kind of stuff of uh, of different symptoms uh, it just makes treatments and like diagnosis much easier for them uh but yeah your best bet is the recompression chamber real Hail Mary kind of stuff, yeah, you can get in the water, but if no one's trained on it, I, I wouldn't really consider it an option. Uh, your best bet is just to get them to that recompression chamber as soon as possible. Any other questions? By all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video and use this Ask Mark hashtag in your comment and that way it just highlights it behind the scenes so I know to answer it. Uh, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Uh, check out some of those in-water recompression videos because they are quite interesting. Um, and it, if you've never really thought about it, that they go into like the, the physiology and the science of, um, of decompression and uh, decompression illness and recompression. So uh, yeah, it is an interesting watch and it's going to open up a whole new kettle fish for you um but yeah thanks for watching um remember to like share subscribe to all that good social media stuff thanks for watching again and of course safe diving <laughs>